So as Ukraine is being invaded by Russia, some more news has come out that Biden himself has shared intel with China about the Russian troops. And of course, naturally, China being who they are and their close connection with Russia, shared that intel between Russia and China. So why would Biden possibly trust China in this situation. China's been bailing out Russia the entire time sanctions have been put into place. The only reason Russia is able to go past these sanctions is because China's helping them out. So why did Biden share this intel with China? It makes no sense, especially when China is probably going to use this as an example of how they should treat Taiwan. There's no difference between the two. Russia wants Ukraine the same way China wants Taiwan. If anything, this is just going to be a huge presentation on how the world's going to handle Ukraine. And if it's handling it like this, then why wouldn't they go after Taiwan? If the U.S. doesn't get involved and the U.K. doesn't get involved for the uh, because of the Budapest Memorandum, then they're realizing that they could probably take Taiwan without a fight. Like, zero fight. The fact that there isn't more urgency being placed on the U.S. and on the U.K. right now is very disappointing. And even though they're coming up with different ways like cyber attacks and shit like that, it, it, it it's not going to be the same. It, the moral support out there is just so low. I mean, just recently polled in America, 26% of Americans want to have a bigger role in, in the whole situation in Ukraine. But that still doesn't matter. You've signed an agreement. They gave up their nuclear weapons in order for protections for themselves. And if we're going to look away from this, Taiwan's just as doomed as Ukraine. We have to start figuring out how to stop Putin doing what he's doing. But it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case, especially with mistakes like this, where he's involving China like there's some sort of friendship. But they're not. They're, they're, they're complete opposites. China is far from a democracy. It's almost the same as Russia. Why would you trust them? There's no reason to. They silence everyone who speaks out in their own country. Why would they ever side with America when they clearly don't have the same values as America? But here's something that came up from uh, the New York Times. So why don't we take a look at this quote that's here. <clears throat> So from the New York Times, over three months, seniors, uh, senior Biden administra administration officials held half a dozen urgent meetings with top Chinese officials in which the Americans presented intelligence showing Russia's troop buildup around Ukraine and beseeched the Chinese to tell Russia not to invade, according to the U.S. officials. But why would China tell Russia not to invade? It'd be like Russia telling China not to invade Taiwan. There's no reason for those two to have any discourse. So... Each time the Chinese officials, including the foreign minister and the ambassador to the United States, rebu rebuffed the Americans, saying they did not think an invasion was in the works, of course, because why would they agree that it would be? Uh, after one diplomatic exchange in December, U.S. officials got intelligence showing Beijing had shared the information with Moscow, telling the Russians that the United States was trying to sow discord and that China would not try to impede Russian plans and actions, the officials said. And there's a, probably a really good reason for that, because if they were to get involved in stopping Ukraine from going to Russia, then Russia would get involved in stopping China from trying to take Taiwan. This is a very dangerous time for this to be happening, because not only were so many people distracted by protests and the COVID pandemic, now they're going straight into another stressful uh, situation where they have to pay more attention than ever to the moves that these governments are making. Taiwan going to China is just as unacceptable as the Ukraine going to Russia. There has to be more than just sanctions that go into place. Sanctions aren't going to do shit against Russia or China because they'll have each other's backs. The reason sanctions never worked on Russia in the past was because Russia and China made a deal to help each other or to help them out with their energy crisis. So why now? Why would more sanctions for some reason stop him? There isn't any logical reason other than to save face in the public eye of your own nations. So historically speaking, Russia and China have had a complicated, often contentious relationship, but they are probably closer today than ever before. Yeah, no shit. The two have recently signed a huge energy pact that allows Putin to weather the pain of Western sanctions. Then again, China also helped Russia endure sanctions after Crimea went the way of Tibet. So why would anyone believe that President Xi Jinping, who views the existence of Taiwan much in the same way Putin views the existence of Ukraine, or rather non-existence, do anything to dissuade an invasion in the first place? Every justification by Putin for why he could invade Ukraine could just as easily be made for a Chinese invasion of Taiwan. What's the downside? side for Z. This 
is the big question. Why did Biden even put any trust in this? Was he just testing the waters to see what was going to happen? And honestly, the way the world views China, this guy makes a really good uh, uh, point, point right here. Hey, I'm not Dag Hammarskjöld. I can't pronounce that word or that name, sorry. But I suspect that a tyranny that crushes political opposition has never resembled anything approaching a liberal democracy and that threatens to annihilate its neighbor on a weekly basis. It's unlikely to harm its best relationship over some bad publicity. Then again, we can hardly get anyone in the government, the NBA, or the business world to criticize Chinese slave labor, so maybe the chickums like Putin who, uh, know we're just bluffing. And that's essentially what it is. These sanctions are literally just to save face. The Ukrainians are the ones who are actually fighting the fight. Whereas we're standing back, well, I can't say we're because I'm Canadian, but America and the UK aren't living up to their agreement. They're not living up to the protections of Ukraine. They're sitting by idly at the moment while hundreds of thousands of troops have surrounded Ukraine on several fronts. This needs to change. Somebody needs to start working on a plan. And I don't think it's the stuttering Joe Biden, and I sure as don't think it's fucking the UK's Gary Busey over there. They don't seem to have any idea of what to do next without starting World War III. So we either start the war on a larger scale, or we let Ukraine fall. That's the two options they're giving themselves. Or we let Ukraine fall and Taiwan fall. Because we already know that if Ukraine falls, China will see how the world has handled it, and then they'll make their move. The ball's in their court now. We just have to hope somebody is advising them to make the right decisions. Other than just cybersecurity attacks. Because P Putin is going to look at those cybersecurity attacks the same way he would a physical one. And there's no reason for him to not start a war over cyber attacks. It wouldn't stop him. His logic is, is literally, Ukraine is mine, I'm taking it. And you're not going to stop me. That's his thought process here. He may say his words like, oh, the Ukraine is starting to manufacture nuclear weapons. They're on their way to doing it. It's all just smoke and mirrors. He's going to do anything he can. He's going to say anything he can to finally make this happen. And it's time for, it's time for that memorandum to either be acknowledged and worked towards, or it's time to dissolve it. And... Either way, it's going to be a shit show. This is not going to end well, regardless of the circumstances. It's just going to lead to more and more takeovers, or more and more deaths, or more, a bigger war than we've ever seen before. Anyways, guys, I wish I would have something much happier to report on, but unfortunately I do not. And I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.